Welcome to your yoga practice. This class is from the comfortability of your chair. We will work through a little series that will increase your mobility, your flexibility. We will work on core strength and on balancing, all with the use of this chair. So make sure you have a chair where you can sit on easily and where your feet can touch the ground. If the feet cannot touch the ground, then you might want to place either a rolled up blanket or some blocks underneath your feet. And when the backrest is too far away, you might want to place a pillow in the back as well. If you are doubting your chair, you might want to look at the introduction of this series first to find out more specifics. All right, so let's come to the comfort of our chair. You can place yourself fully in the chair and rest with your back towards the back. Placing your hands, one on the lower belly, one on the heart space. Rolling the shoulders back and making a double chin. No worries, no one is watching you. And simply closing the eyes. Bringing your mind towards the surface underneath your feet and grounding yourself in what we would call the earth. At the same time, the double chin will make sure that you're rising up all the way to the sky through the crown of your head. Sensing the movements underneath your hands, the movements of your body on the breath. And we will use the breath in this class in a few different ways. We always inhale through the nose. And then there might be an exhale through the nose as well. In every inhale, the belly pops out. And every exhale, the navel relaxes back in. So always inhaling through the nose. We can exhale through the nose, but we can also exhale through what I call a straw, like purse lips. And another way to exhale is through an open mouth, like a sigh. Always through the nose in, belly comes out. Feel it underneath your hand. And the exhale either through the nose or through the straw or as a sigh. Let's take three cleansing breaths. Deep inhales towards the hands to expand. Exhaling with a sigh. Two more. Last one. In through the nose, feel the belly coming out. And exhaling through an open mouth. Bringing your left hand towards your right. Sensing the heartbeat underneath. While you still have your double chin, lengthening through the spine up to the sky. And the soles of the feet planted into the earth. Setting an intention for your practice or repeating if you have your positive affirmation. And 
then when the next inhale is arising, let the hands come from the heart space. Open the arms to the side, inhaling. Follow the hands up to the sky. Exhale, bring the chin to the chest. The fingers come back towards the earth. One more, inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the nose. Last one, opening, inhaling, and rising, letting the hands meet. And on the exhale, bring them in front of your humble heart. Bowing your head here towards your hands. And sensing gently into the stretch on the back of your neck. Letting your hands come to your thigh. Let them rest there. Let the head be heavy. You can bring the shoulders one more time back and the shoulder blades move towards the back of the chair. Sensing into the pool between the skull all the way to the sitting bones planted into your chair all the way to the soles of the feet planted into the earth. While you're breathing, sensing into the stretch. Anytime in this practice you feel there's a challenge coming up, either a discomfort or a challenge through the mind, Use the straw breaths. This will induce the relaxation response. It's like breathing out your challenge. One more good deep breath here. Exhale. Inhaling, let the arms circle up, let the hands meet. Exhale, back in front of your humble heart. Good, from here we move halfway the chair. Let your feet come with you forward as well, so you can place them again underneath the knees for stability and ground yourself. If you feel you're falling backwards, you might want to roll up a towel or a blanket underneath your sitting bones to keep yourself upright. Good. Having your hands resting on the thighs, we go for a neck stretch. Simply bringing the left ear to the left shoulder. You might sense that the right shoulder now wants to come up and the whole body wants to move, so we will counter that by bringing the, left, the right hand palm open, facing forward, and the fingers actively down to the earth on the right side. Keep on breathing. Every inhalation, you arrive here. And every exhale is bringing you to the now. Simply breathing and feeling into the stretch on the right side. If this is all okay for you, you can follow me by bringing the right hand up a little bit. And if possible, more backwards, opening more the front of the chest towards the shoulder. And you might feel a little bit more stretch on the front of the arm as well. Keep the whole arm engaged, keep the finger, fingers engaged, so the hand fully open. Left ear still towards the left shoulder for a few more breaths. Any time the challenge is too much, you just 
is alternate and you go a step back into our practice. Do what is possible for you here and now. Last breath, bringing that hand back alongside the body. Bringing the head back to the center. And simply both hands resting on your thighs. Take a moment to sense into the left side and the right side of your body. Taking a good deep breath in. And a cleansing breath out. We go for the other side. Right ear towards right shoulder. You might feel the left coming up. So we bring that left hand with the palm open forwards and the fingers engaged out towards the earth. Make sure with everything you do, you keep on breathing. The breath is keeping us anchored in the moment. It also helps with circulation of all the fluids and the oxygen through the body. If you're okay here, you can follow bringing that left hand a little bit more up. And maybe there's space to bring it back as well. All depends on the mobility of your joints and the health of the tissues. few more breaths here. Making sure your sitting bones are still grounded in your seat. Last breaths. And on the exhale, bringing the left hand down, bringing the head up and let both hands rest on your thigh. Taking a deep inhale and a full exhale. Now bringing both arms up to cactus arms, making sure you're rooted through the sitting bones and the feet are active in the earth, keeping your double chin as well, lengthening through the spine. This might already be a challenge, then you lower the arms a little bit. It's all good. You go to where it feels okay now. On the inhale, rise. On the exhale, bring the hands forward and together, like you're holding a tray. Inhaling, opening to cactus. Exhaling, circling to tray. Let the hands meet. Inhale, open to cactus. Exhale to tray. Great. We do two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, keep yourself grounded through the feet and the sitting bones. Inhaling last time. Exhale, coming to tray. And then we keep it there for a few breaths. Lowering the shoulders, grounding through your feet, having the double chin so the crown can go up to the sky. Breathing, using the straw breaths, if it becomes challenging. Good. And start to move the fingers in and out. And then on the next inhale, bring the hands to the shoulder and exhale, open. Inhale, tap the shoulder. Exhale, open. One more, inhale, tap. Exhale, shoulder. Coming back to the shoulder, bringing the elbows together. Now when the inhale is rising, Opening, following the elbows, looking up. Exhaling, bring the chin to the chest, rounding the spine. Two more. Inhaling, opening. Exhaling, rounding. 
Now there's movement in your seat. Inhale up. And exhale, come back to rest. Great. Now we're moving a little bit depending on your chair, but I like to move even a little bit more forward so the front of the chair is now not pinching into the back of my legs. And I have some space. The feet move with me underneath the knees. And now we need a little bit more core. So to keep us grounded, every foot that is touching the earth really engage towards there. You really want to root. The same for the sitting bones. You really want to root them in the chair and keeping that double chin. So we're lengthening up to the sky, keeping a long spine. Great. You can have the hands either in the waist or resting on the thighs. And then we're starting with left foot engaged in the earth. And on the inhale, right foot is rising. Exhaling, bring it back. And it comes as far up on the inhalation as you feel. It's okay. Also for the knee and for the abdominal muscles. Inhaling. Exhaling. Working the upper leg muscles. Inhale, exhale, one more, you're doing great, inhale, and exhale, bring back. Taking a deep inhale here, cleansing breath out. We're going for the other side. I felt my hand was moving to my belly. It was actually quite comforting to have one there. So maybe do that as well. On the inhale, we're rising on the left side. Bring the toes also to the knee if possible. And exhale, plant back. Inhaling left, having right side grounded. Exhaling back. Inhale up, think about the double chin. And exhale. Two more. Inhaling left foot up. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Amazing. Exhale. Good. Taking a deep inhalation, let the belly pop out. Exhale. Now the next one might be a little bit more challenge. So see how far your leg can come up and you can hold it there. Maybe placing both hands on the belly, make sure you're still breathing. If this is too much, bringing the leg a little bit lower. And start to point the toes and bring them back towards the knee. You can inhale, point, and exhale. Two more, inhaling, exhaling. Last one, inhale, exhale, bring back. We go straight for the other side, plant that right foot, Lift the left one up. Inhaling, point the toes. Exhale, draw them to the knee. Inhale, feel the belly pop out. Point. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. It's too much. Just lower the leg. Last inhale, point. Exhale, and place back. Well done. You can use your hands and feet to find the full comfort of the chair. Lean in the back, placing the hands on the belly. Close the eyes for a moment. Feel into your heartbeats. Feel into your breath and your whole body. Let's take three cleansing breaths. 
Deep inhales through the nose, exhales through the mouth. Every breath you take in your own rhythm and pace, inhaling. Last one. Now moving again more to the center of the chair, replacing your feet to find your grounding. And then on the inhalation, the arms circle up, follow the hands with the gaze. And on the exhale, they come down to one side, left or right, up to you. Inhale, follow the hands up to the center. Exhale, other sides. We do a few more of these. Inhaling. Follow the hands to the other side. Exhale. On the inhale in yoga, we rise up. On the exhale, we come down. One more. Coming back to center on your inhalation. And exhaling, circling the hands down. Now placing the feet and the knees together. It depends a little bit on your chair, how wide it is. So you have a few options here. You either place the right hand over the, right, the left thigh, or if possible, and you don't have to turn yourself fully, you can gently grab the side of your chair on the opposite side. Yes, see what is comfortable for you. On the inhalation, rising the left arm up and exhaling, bending to the opposite side. Inhale, coming up. One more time, exhale. Feels nice, we do one more. Inhaling, rising. And you go as far as feel comfortable for you. Coming back to your center and just swapping sides. Inhaling, raising the right arm up. Exhaling, coming with the body to the left. You inhale, you rise. On your exhale, you go down. One more. Back to center. Great. Now we prepared ourselves for a little bit more core work. And for this one, instead of placing the feet, scooting forward and placing the feet underneath my knees, I'd like them to bring a little bit closer to the chair and come more to the tip of the chair as well. So this will uh, make it easier to move forward. So we will dive now a little bit more in the abdominal muscle work. Coming back to the cactus arms and the tray. Inhaling arms up. Exhale, bringing it to tray, but also bringing the body forward. Thinking about the double chin. Inhaling up. Exhaling, moving forward. Feel how the navel goes in when you move forward. Inhale, let the belly expand. Exhale, slight contraction in the core. One more. Inhale. 
If you're still with me, exhale, coming to the tray forward position. Lowering the shoulders. Inhaling here. And if you want, exhale, come to the side. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling to the other side. If this is too much, you can bring the hands to the shoulders. And you just here, relax the shoulders, relax the arms. Inhaling through center. Exhaling opposite side. One more time. Inhaling through center. Exhaling. Finishing our rounds. Inhaling through center. Exhale. You're doing amazing. Inhaling through center. Exhale, relax the whole body. Bring your hands to your belly, taking a good deep breath in. Cleansing breath out. Amazing. So now we worked on our joint mobility, on our flexibility, on our core muscles. And we're going to use this all for more balancing. For that, something we do every day, but maybe not so consciously, which is standing up and sitting down. So on the inhalation, really press with the feet into the earth. Use the slight core contraction. And on the inhale, rise up. As simple as that. Exhale, very consciously come back and sit as soft as possible. Controlled, inhaling, pushing into the feet, rising through the body. Exhaling, controlled, down. One more, feeling how you're lifted up through the crown, up to the sky. Great. And then shake the body out a little bit. I call this like silly walk, and we will use that when we go from one side to the other. We will start on one side of your chair. You choose which side you want to go. You might want to use the hands on the back of the chair, maybe just a few fingers or full support. I'll leave that up to you. We go to balancing tree pose. So for that, it's important to place the feet underneath the body where they're comfortable and where you feel supported, but also to use the core to really lightly bring the navel in, the belly in, but still breathing. Good. You can place, sorry, one hand in front of the heart. And then that same side of the hand that is in front of the heart, we coming on the tips of the toes, the toes curl in, so you're already balancing and the weight is more to the opposite foot. Maybe this is where you want to be and you can check in how many fingers you want to use on the chair. There are many options here. Choose what is right for you today. Now, if you want to take one step more, opening the hip and place the foot on the inside of the ankle. Maybe the foot comes off the earth. Checking how many fingers you need. Pressing in all toes that touch the earth. Fixing your gaze. And there are many options from here. Left arm can rise up. Or maybe both hands will meet in front of the heart. See what is possible today. Anything you do, draw the navel lightly in and just test yourself. Keeping yourself grounded through all the toes and the foot, through the double chin and the crown up to the sky and through your center of the body. And gently bringing everything back. Well done. So shaking the body out. And in the same time, we walk to the other side. And then again, finding both feet. Grounding into the earth. Feel what you need on this side, chair-wise of support. 
bringing the outer hand to the heart, focusing the gaze, slightly contracting into the core, belly button in, maybe curling the toes in the ground, checking how many fingers you need, the double chin there, you're grounding yourself through all the other toes, and then opening the hip if you want, placing the foot on the inside of the ankle, go and test here, maybe the foot comes off the ground, maybe the fingers come off the chair, maybe both hands go up in the sky, Oops, depending how the balance feels today. Anywhere you are is fine. We just accept how it is in the moment. And bringing the whole body back where it came from. Mm -hmm. Well done, good. Shake the body out before we find our chair back again. We're starting again on the front. And this time with both legs long. Now here you have to find for yourself which option suits you. We begin with the right heel over the left ankle. And this might already be something, maybe you want to stay here. Or you can come with me and slide that foot up, if possible, over the knee. And then drawing that left knee in. See where the possibilities are, how the right hip is responding. Now maybe this is a place you like to stay. You can rest the hand softly on the knee and one softly on the ankle for support. If you feel there is some space in the right hip, then you can bring the underarm on the leg and gently move forward with the upper body weight. And then it's all depending on the sensations. Just keep on breathing. Maybe using the straw breath, if there's a little bit of challenge of stretch. Just being very mindful with the body and its capabilities. Not to push it too far, but also not staying too much in the comfort zone. If you are in a forward bending position, then move the head a little bit to left and right to take any strain out of the neck. You might feel that the shoulders and the back become more comfortable as well. And we take a few more breaths where we are. If you're in the forward bend, we're calling this seated pigeon pose. And then placing your hands back on the knee and the ankle for support to rise back up. If you're already up there, we meet you here, placing the hands back to the seat and bringing the left foot forward so the right leg can slide off. Yes. So now you know all the possibilities, or the options. Now find the possibilities on the other side, bringing the left heel over the right ankle. It might be that you're just here, which is all fine. Yes, if the leg can come over the knee, then maybe you're there. And maybe there's a possibility to bring the foot closer to the chair which will increase the opening of the hip, yeah? Feeling into this, 
And then you're welcome to place the hands for support. If you stay here, ground the sitting bones, think about the double chin. And otherwise, you can always come forward, bring a little bit of weight, not on the knee joint itself, but on the softer bits with your underarm. Loosening the neck. Sensing into the stretch. Using our own body weight in the forward bends, but without really pushing actively down, it's just purely the relaxed upper body weights. Few more breaths here. Anytime you feel you cannot comfortably breathe anymore, you take a few steps back to a more comfortable position. No, you never have to do all. You just go as far as feels good. If you're in the forward bend like me, placing your hands on the body for support to gently rise up. Taking the chair, let the legs slide forward again. Placing the feet close to the chair so you can scoot yourself all the way to find rest in the back. Placing one hand on the heart, one hand on the lower belly. Grounding yourself through the soles of your feet in the earth. Feeling the soft rising up through the crown of the head. Sensing into the heartbeat underneath your hands, the movements underneath your hands. Taking three cleansing breaths before we go to final relaxation. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth three times. Eventually, let your hands find a comfortable place to rest, placing your feet anywhere you feel you're comfortable. You can lean back a little bit in the chair, but without becoming too lazy. Keeping your mind engaged in the cycles of your gentle breath. Every inhale, inhaling the present moment. Every exhale, giving back to the here and now. Inhaling peace. Exhaling release. Keeping the mind present in the cycles of the breath. So we staying aware and conscious in our final relaxation. We can digest and integrate the practice to take all the benefits and to nourish the body, the mind, and the spirit. You 
can stay here as long as you wish. Of course, also welcome to transfer yourself fully to the earth to rest. Or maybe even in the comfort of your bed. Just staying present in your final relaxation. Not allowing the mind to fly out already to what is in the future or what was in the past. Just being with the inner and exhalations to stay present. Either prolonging your relaxation or you finish up the practice with me here now. Taking a good deep breath in. Cleansing breath out. On your next inhale, circling the arms up. Opening the eyes to meet your hands up in the sky. Exhaling, bring your hands back in front of your humble heart. Bowing the head lightly. Thanking yourself for your practice, your efforts and your presence. Thank you for practicing together and I hope to meet you again in another class. Namaste.